Now when it comes to retopologizing a hand, this has always been a really time consuming job just because uh, you've got all the fingers to deal with and a hand's a pretty complicated shape. But with Modo 601 you can actually do this job pretty quickly. So I'm going to show you uh, one method of doing it really fast. I'm going to go to the background mesh and in edge mode I'm just going to select um, an edge here and then swing around to the other side of the hand and I'm going to select uh, an edge on the other side and hit shift and home to align my work plane to this selection. Um, it's more or less in line with the arms but I'm going to go shift N to bring up the work plane properties and I'm just going to see if I can maybe rotate it just slightly better into position maybe like that just to make the next part of the job a bit easier and now I'm going to go back to my foreground mesh and I'm going to activate the tube tool so um, I'm going to make sure that by length is on so that gives a nice even geometry and I'm not going to have caps and I'm just going to draw my first point just below this knuckle and then I'm going to draw the next one on the following knuckle and on the next knuckle and then just outside the finger you can see it's placed it nicely outside the finger now um, you can interactively change the radius of the tube so all you need is for it to just be slightly bigger than the fingers you can also change the number of sides and segments so I'm actually going to go down to six sides because I think for fingers that's more sensible keep the segments at two I'm happy with that um, maybe just reduce the radius a little bit more and while I'm still got the points active just slightly move those points okay now with the tube tool still active you don't need to drop it just hold down shift and uh, draw the first point of the next finger then let go of shift and then just draw on the knuckle on the next knuckle just outside the finger let's have a rotate that seems okay okay then I'm gonna hold down shift and draw the third finger let go of shift and then draw the next points have a quick look that seems fine hold down shift for the final finger draw on the knuckle next knuckle and then just outside um, well that's uh, that's created the initial geometry for our fingers pretty quickly so what I'm going to do now is drop the tube tool and go into edge mode, I'm going to double click this edge, hit the P key to create a polygon double click this edge, P key again uh, double click this edge, create the polygon double click this edge, create the polygon now at the ends of the fingers it's probably going to be useful to have a bit of extra geometry so I'm going to go into poly mode and hit the bevel key and just bevel out these polys slightly. Now what we need to do is um, these n-gons need to be turned into quads. You could do it manually with the uh, cut tool but there's a new command in uh, Modo 601 which is convert to quadrangle so if I hit that now you can see it's going to split these polys into quads so it works on uh, six-sided polys and eight-sided polys like these really really well. Now uh, I'm going to deselect everything and uh, from the topology tab I'm going to activate the smooth tool to conform these uh, new polygons to the underlying geometry. So I'm going to drag in the viewport. Now you can see that there's this sort of weird thing going on here, but that's not a problem. Keep the smooth tool active and just drag on the problem areas until they smooth out. And you can see now it's conformed perfectly to the fingers. So I am going to drop the smooth tool and I'm going to hit the end key to reset my work plane. And we can move on to the next part of the retopology. So I've just created a thumb using exactly the same method of aligning the work plane and then using the, tool, the tube tool and uh, the smooth uh, tool to conform it to the shape. I've activated my topology pen and now I'm just going to right click and drag on this edge just to bring it up to the knuckle. Do the same on all the fingers. It takes a second. And uh, then what I need to do is uh, using the topology pen I'm going to bridge these gaps here like so. So do that um, all round. And uh, now that we've essentially joined up the um, fingers to the hand, just drag out the new edges so they conform to the shape of the hand. And now what I need to do is to um, if I shift and right click, just drag out some new edges out into the hand. Let me just drag this out here. And for now, we're not going to worry too much about the topology. I'm just going to keep it to simple quads. 
we're obviously going to need to uh, reduce the number of edges as we go up the hand but I think for now it's easier just to to um, to create the new um, geometry and then think about reducing it later on so I'm just going to pause the video while I do exactly the same thing on the other side so I've created a strip of polys um, coming off the fingers by uh, simply just dragging shift dragging uh, the, the polys from the fingers out into the hand and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move these edges here that define the edge of the thumb and then just bring them out to the base of the thumb so that I can connect them with the uh, geometry that I'm going to create for the hand so once I'm happy with that I'm going to drag out I'm going to shift right click to drag out this whole edge out here and I'm connect this vertex to the thumb and zoom in here and connect this vertex to the base of the thumb so that now it's going to create um, this corner shape here and I can create another strip that, uh, that starts from this corner and flows along here let me just uh, quickly get the topology in shape so obviously when uh, when the thumb the thumb geometry uh, comes off the hand we need a couple of poles you always have to have poles so we've uh, we've created a, a pole here where uh, lots of uh, edges are joining onto this vertex and uh, we're going to create another one here but as you can see we uh, we've got these corners so that um, I can create a new strip that goes all the way along here and it will join up with this edge here so I'm going to start doing that now, let's just drag out these edges and uh, again I'm just going to pause the video while I just drag out this, uh, this whole strip and connect it up to the other side so I've dragged out this whole strip all the way to here and this is the final segment that needs to be pulled out and connected and it you can see we've created a strip going across and uh, at the same time we've merged the thumb geometry with the rest of the hand so having done that what I want to do is to create the geometry for the arm so what I'm going to do is just sort of align my view with um, the arm and hit control home to align the work plane to the view and let's see how it lines up it's uh, more or less there, I'm just going to use page up to just shift it down slightly and maybe shift end just to try and get it nicely rotated just by tweaking the rotation values obviously it's in world space it can be a little bit fiddly but it doesn't need to be perfect it just needs to be sort of more or less there and just as before I'm going to activate my tube tool and um, similar settings to before actually I might increase the sides to let's say 10 and the segments to four this time obviously the radius is going to need to be bigger but I'll do that interactively so I'm going to draw a point on the shoulder draw a point on the elbow and draw a point on the wrist and now I'm going to increase my radius so that it's bigger than the arm um, I think I'm more or less happy with the number of loops and sides so I'm going to drop the tool and I'm going to double click on this to select it activate my smooth tool and conform the geometry to the underlying mesh and now I'm going to hit end to reset my work plane so obviously uh, the number of edges between the arm and the hand isn't going to match at the moment so we need to reduce the uh, the uh, the level of geometry on the, on the hand so that it can connect up to the arm so I'm going to go into edge mode just double click on this loop just to see what uh, what we've got and we've got 20 edges and here we've got 10 edges so obviously we need to halve the number of edges coming onto the hand so that we can bridge it over or connect it over to the arm so I'm going to activate the topology pen shift right click on this loop and just massage my geometry slightly now you can see that it's um, if you're zoomed out with the topology pen it can sort of try and snap vertices you might not want that so if you know that you're not going to be doing any welding it might actually be easier just to use the topology tweak tool rather than the topology pen because then you can literally just move elements without ever welding so that can make uh, your life a little bit easier
So what I need to do is to get rid of 10 of the edges that define the boundary of this hand. So I'm actually going to do this with sort of regular modeling tools. So I'm going to switch to the modeling tab and hold control six to bring up the pie menu, make my background mesh invisible and hit shift tab to go into uh, SDS mode. And now what I want to do is to use the cut tool to cut some new edges. So I'm going to start from this vertex, cut here, and on that vertex and then cut here to make this sort of triangular shape and I need to leave a gap of uh, one edge and uh, I'm going to hold down shift and make a new cut here here and here to make another triangle here I'm going to drop my cut tool and hit 2 to go into edge mode select these two edges hit backspace to delete them and you can see that it's turned um, it, these uh, polygons into sort of triangular shaped quads um, We've got triangles either side, but they're very easy to get rid of. If I just double click on this entire loop and delete it, you can see that now the whole strip is down to quads. So I'm going to do the same here. Let's delete this loop and do the same with this loop. You can see it's all quads again. And finally, do this one here. And now we're back to all quads on this uh, on the top of the hand here. So if I double click on the edge loop at the top now, we can see that we've got 16 edges now. So we've got rid of four um, loops, which is pretty good. And so what we need to do is to look at the bottom of the hand and see where we can make uh, a similar kind of cut. Now because we've got this pole here, that's gonna we don't want to cut anything too close to that because uh, basically we're gonna we're gonna run into topology problems. So I would steer clear of that, but um, maybe activate the cut tool and cut from this vertex to this vertex, to this vertex, and then hold, we need a gap of one, so let's see, um, we need to leave one edge basically, so let's cut, hold down shift, cut here, here, and here, and then drop the cut tool, and just as before, go into edge mode, delete these middle edges, and now we've just got to get rid of the uh, triangles either side. So if I double click, oh no, can't double click, but let's just select these edges, hit backspace, select these edges, hit backspace. Do the same up here and up here, get rid of all the triangles. And now we should be back to all quads. And if I double click here, we're down to 12 edges, so there's just two more edges to get rid of. I'm also just going to bring up the uh, lists and just make sure that I've, if I if I go to the uh, info and statistics and polygons by vertex, just to make sure that there's no triangles or n-gons. We're still in all quads. It's good to have this open and just keep an eye on it in case you accidentally make uh, triangles and n-gons as you go along. So to get rid of the last two edges, I'm going to go back to the topology tab and activate my topology pen and I'm going to do this sort of as I go along so if I shift and right click on this edge I should be able to actually before I do that let me shift out of uh, SDS mode because when working with a topology pen it's much easier so topology pen shift right click let's drag out the topology here and then connect this up so we've only got two edges to get rid of it should be it should be pretty easy to do that. So um, there's quite a lot of there's quite a lot of edges around here. One thing to do actually that's quite sensible is just to try and line up the edges that you want to connect in the first place. So um, that gives you a good idea of where you can um, delete things sort of conveniently, so that you then don't have to jump through hoops to make the um, the connection so everything is lining up quite nicely I, so I think the best place to get rid of an edge is around this thumb area so we're going to do this with a method I showed right at the start I'm just going to um, control click on here to create an end gone here and I'm just going to snap this to this and then I'm going to find a good edge to connect so let's just connect this drop the um, topology pen and double click on this loop to select everything and just deselect by holding down control these two edges and then simply run the bridge tool and there you go we've connected everything up and uh, we've basically created an arm and a hand in uh, record time so now obviously you probably want to get the topology uh, tweak tool and just uh, you know adjust your topology but essentially you've created everything you need to create um, really really quickly